pack for this trip, staying one night, hiking up at the top of a mountain, and hammock camping at the top. One of the smallest backpacks I have, and I've got everything I need in there, from food, water, shelter, all the things, and it weighs roughly 18 pounds. Oh my gosh. So, I wish I had an extra hand to film what is happening around me right now, but I'm literally surfing like four foot swells. I'm heading back. This is, it was not this bad when I left and uh, I got about halfway across and these swells just picked up like absolute madness. I'm literally surfing and I'm on the way back. Hey guys, I want to quickly interrupt this video to thank my sponsor, Athletic Greens. These guys make a nutritional drink called AG1, and it's an all-in-one daily supplement. It supports immunity, provides nutrients and phytonutrients that help sustain healthy energy levels, and it's made as a simple and convenient way to consume your daily vitamins and minerals. As an outdoors woman, a mom, a business owner, and a helper to Brandon and his tree business, I lead a hectic and active life that makes it a huge challenge for me to ensure that I'm getting all my daily nutrients with just the foods that I eat. So being able to quickly mix up and drink AG1 each morning has been amazing. It makes me feel good knowing I'm getting all the nutrients my body needs in order to sustain such an active lifestyle. It even contains nutrients that are critical in supporting healthy brain function, meaning AG1 helps me on the days when I need to focus on editing, writing, and all the back-end work that revolves around running multiple businesses. Athletic Greens is giving you a one-year supply of their vitamin D3K2 and five travel packs free with your first purchase when you follow the link in the description below. Thanks again, Athletic Greens. Really appreciate it. And now on with the video. Hi, and welcome to today's episode of Can't Get Anything to Work and Running Out of Daylight to even do this. The boat won't start. We've been having problems with it forever. <sighs> One last kick at the can. Brandon's going to come try and get it started. He knows this boat better than anybody, so. Are you a stranded little girl? Can you rescue me? I could try. Give it a second. I think we'll I think we'll get it going. Keep it on charge, I can drop you off and then at least from here I can manage, you know? Over there it's pretty tough. I just need a second. It's gotta like just get going a bit. I think I don't think it'll be okay. Leave it to my man. Not there yet. Not backwards, it means business. Not a necessity. Oh my god. Oh. Love you. Love you too. Thank you for this. Love right. you. Love you too. Okay, wow, it's nearly three o'clock. I have about three hours of daylight left to get up there, get camp set up. And 
And I see bear paws on the beach. A wolf. Look at those. Those are bear. So that's cool. We are on the trail. I have no idea what to expect. I have to be strategic about water on this trip. Here's Big Hill. Kick my butt a little bit. I think the stress of today is wearing on me a little bit. I don't think this hike is too, too hard. I've never done it before, but I've heard of many who have. But it is one of the tallest points of elevation in the region that I'm in, which is pretty neat. So I have a feeling that at some point it's gonna be quite a climb. So we'll see. So the main trail is there and we split off and go this way. And so begins the climb. This camera does not do this any justice. <sighs> My little heart feels like it's gonna explode. It's <sighs> like straight uphill. I don't even know. Like, this is looking straight. And that's looking up. Squirrel is super curious about me. Buddy. We're not done yet. Huh. Every time I reach a little summit, I just do a little lookout. So I just came through this beautiful flat area, thinking I was close. <laughs> nope. These leaves make it near impossible to get any kind of good grip. Oh, it's good times. Just a few more steps of death. I think I finally made it. It is hella windy up here. Wow, that's quite the hike. There's two trees right here. This guy, and this guy. This is the view from right there. You just step out a little bit, and there's the rest of the view. Woo, it's windy out here. Man, that's some wind. Okay, I've got my thermorest because I don't have an underquilt and it works. It's not perfect, but it works. Got a puppy jacket, which I might also throw on right now. And I need a snack so badly right now. So I uh, 
packed very backpacking like food. Protein bars. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna have Mr. Noodles tonight. Something really easy. And fruit bars, coffee, and oatmeal for the morning. I hope this wind chills out in a bit. Alright, I'm basically halfway to getting my shelter set up, but I'm going to get food going. I have a feeling it might take a little longer with this wind. I'm going to try to create a little barrier here. My backpack, maybe. Yeah, that should work. So for this trip, I decided not to rely on fire to cook my food. And like I said, I'm just going to have some Mr. Noodles and I've got some odds and ends in there if I get hungrier than that, but something quick, something easy right now just to get food down. I'm a little bit self-sufficient as far as no fire up here, especially it's windy. I'm glad I did. I'm glad I made that decision with it being so windy, but um, I've got my little titanium stove and hopefully we can get that going. Kind of nice. My whole cook kit is just contained inside my cook cup. Got a little fold out titanium spork. And my fuel. Some water in there. And make sure everything fits. I'm just gonna throw it in. melting my bag. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty quick. Boiled up. Yeah. Well guys, I am absolutely toast. I'm gonna go to bed. I was able to watch the sun go down. It's absolutely gorgeous. The lighting was incredible. Thank you for watching up to this point, and we will see you in the morning. Good night.
morning. I'm very sore. I'm very tired. A little bit of water left. Just enough. Just enough water for coffee and oatmeal. feel the best today to be honest but uh, overall the hammock was really comfortable with the sleeping pad in it it's like a little sketchy to get settled and situated but once you do I can actually sleep on my side it's pretty cool it is blustery out right now This oatmeal is my favorite. It's the uh, it's the coconut and honey one. It's like the super grains version. Anyways, it's really good. I would totally do this at the. Uh, Look out right now, but it is so freaking windy. I'm real happy and cozy under my tarp. I love the fact that you can just pour the water right into the oatmeal packet. Saves dishes. It's easy to just pack up and bring home. Or throw it in the fire if you're having a fire. Hmm. It's really good. And you don't have to uh, have your coffee and oatmeal separately, you can have them together, which I think is my favorite part. Ooh. Ooh, that's strong coffee. <laughs> the hammock setup was pretty good, like the uh, Thermarest actually kept me really warm. Well, it's a great Thermarest, but I'm typically like a side sleeper, and I was actually t I was actually able to be on my side, which is um, quite comfortable. Yeah. I think the climb down today is gonna be interesting. <laughs> um, those leaves really make it really slippery. And since my legs are a little bit uh, sore. It's gonna be interesting. Well, that was actually really delicious. I don't often look forward to oatmeal in the morning. <laughs> Oh, it's just so warm and it was perfectly, the consistency was perfect. So I actually picked up this spark for like, to keep in my truck. Because I know like, single use plastics in Ontario I think will eventually be banned so you get to have your own cutlery and stuff. But anyways, it just uh, has some oatmeal in it. It just folds up. I can tighten it down. Pretty cool.
get out of the trees a little bit. Alright, everything's rolled up and kind of situated now. Here's the trail. Guess it's time to head out. We made it. So this is the beach where Brandon dropped me off, but it's very, very shallow here in this bay. And there's a beach around this corner and it's not as shallow down there. So I'm gonna try to hike out that way so it makes it easier for him to get in with the boat, pick me up. so good for accessibility. We're almost there. Not really sure how, but this looks like a four-wheeler trail. I don't know how they get in here. I hear the boat. I see you, baby. That's as far as I can get. Oh. You want to just go to the beach or do yeah. you want to yeah? Yeah, just go to the beach. Okay. How was your day? Oh. That's a handsome man picking me up. What? Who's picking you up? <laughs> you are. Uh... Alright, jump on, babe. I don't want to let this thing stall out. I don't know why you don't trust it, it's so reliable. Yeah, I, know. I think we're fine. 